Hello fans of Gift and Food and Baking, today I'm going to share with you an early Christmas baking of exotic passion fruit rainbow heart cake. To be notified of all my recipes, please subscribe to my YouTube channel Gift of Food and Baking and also you can follow me on all my social media on Instagram and Facebook. For this light sponge cake, I'm using 5 medium eggs, room temperature, plus half a cup of sugar which is equivalent to 135 gram. I will add also 1 tablespoon of sunflower oil and 1 tablespoon of vanilla paste. I have already set by the side 135 gram of sifted flour with a pinch of salt and you need to sift it and later I will sift it again once I add it to the eggs. I'm using today an 8 inch heart shaped pan covered with non-stick reusable liners. I will start by beating and whisking the eggs and the sugar together until the sugar has dissolved and the eggs have doubled in size and became pale, creamy and fluffy. This light sponge cake does not require any baking powder or any raisin agent because since I am beating the egg that way I am incorporating a lot of air. Once the eggs has reached that stage of being pale and doubled in size and made sure that the sugar has dissolved, I will start adding and sifting again the flour over three stages. This type of cake, you don't need to use a whisker at all, be careful, so you, all you need to do with a spatula, fold the flour into the egg mix. By folding with a spatula the flour into the egg mix, you're still keeping the air which you have incorporated earlier. Once you have folded all the flour into the egg mix and made sure there is no any sign of flour, pour carefully the batter into your cake pan. Before reaching that stage, make sure you have a preheated pan oven of 180 Celsius and bake this cake for around 35 to 40 minutes. Once it's out of the oven, you can use your finger to touch it. If it bounces back, it means it's cooked, or you can use a skewer to check. Once it's cooled completely, you would notice that the top layer of the cake has wrinkled, but don't worry, this is normal because we didn't use any baking powder for this cake. Make sure the cake has cooled completely before slicing it and for slicing any cake you will need always a serrated knife and here I'm slicing it into three equal layers. Once I have sliced the cake into three parts I will make sure straight away to cover it with cling film to stop it from being exposed to air and dry and keep it moist at the same time. After covering the cake with the cling film, I will need to store it in a fridge for a minimum of 2 hours to keep it cool before filling it with my cream. For the cake filling, I'm using 300 ml double cream, 200 gram of mascarpone cheese, half a cup of icing sugar and 1 tablespoon of vanilla paste. Because this is an exotic passion fruit mango cake, I will be adding to my cream mix 1 tablespoon of coconut rum liqueur, but you can avoid it, you don't need to add it. Whisk the cream and the mascarpone cheese together until they're light and fluffy, but do not over mix it until it's stiff, it needs to be light and dropping. For this type of cake, which is the light sponge cake, you will always need to soak it with a little bit of juice. So here I'm using one cup of fresh tropical juice, which I will add to it one tablespoon of the coconut rum liqueur, which is optional again. For topping the cake, I will be using this ready-made passion fruit mango coolie and I have here as well two types of kiwis, the golden kiwi, green kiwi, strawberries and saviardi biscuit. To glue the cake to the board, always spread a little bit of your fresh cream or any ganache and then place the cake, brush it with the tropical juice and then add your cream layer. For this cake, I am using a 12 inch cake board and then I will start layering all the cake, brush it with the tropical juice, add a layer of the cream mix and spread it around. On the second layer of the cake, after spreading it with the cream, I will slice finely some strawberries as I want this cake filled with fresh fruits. Keep repeating the same method by topping it up with another layer of cake and brush it with the tropical juice 
then add more cream and this layer I have filled it with kiwis and banana once you have added the filled strawberries make sure at that stage to seal the sides with the fresh cream as well I'm just finishing all the cream spreading it around all the cake and smoothing it up before decoration once you have spread all the cream around and it's smooth enough, start displaying the Savoyardi biscuits and always start from the top center of the heart. If you don't like the idea of Savoyardi biscuits by the sides, you can side it up with curly chocolates or nuts. Once you have finished displaying all the fingers around the heart cake, now you can top it up with a passion fruit mango coolie all around it. Spread the passion fruit mango coolie with a small spatula and then start adding your fruits and your decoration. Here I have pre-made an edible fondant flower and then started decorating with the kiwi and the strawberries. Do you agree with me that it already looks exotically scrumptious with all these edible rainbow colors? Anyway, once you finish, you need to store it in the fridge for a couple of hours before serving it. Oh my, I can't wait to dig in into this super exotic rainbow heart cake. It's so moist and so tasty flavored rum passion fruit cake. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more Sudanese, Egyptian, African or any international recipes, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Gift of Food and Baking. Until I see you with the next recipe. Bye-bye.